Hi all, Cynthia here. Welcome back. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12 layout and this is the first layout that I did with the kit from Kitaholic and it's the February quick kit. So I pulled out this heart paper and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with it. Um, and I think I've decided that I'm going to cut it out. Um, very nervous doing that. Was it going to be the right thing to do? Would I like it? But I went ahead and have cut it out. Um, and now I'm going to go through the papers to see what I would like to put it on. I'm looking for something that's sort of going to make it pop off the page and once I come to this black I decide that's exactly what I was looking for. <clears throat> um, so I've settled on the black, I sort of just double checked with all the um, other pieces again but black was definitely the one that I wanted. I've decided that I'm going to stitch around the edge so I've got out my bits of cotton and, and twine and all the rest of it that I have and I've punched some holes around it just showing you there that I've gone around and punched holes and now I will go through and stitch um, and just do a simple back stitch all the way around the heart <clears throat> I don't make you watch me do all that I trim it out and just show you the the last little bit I think I show you I get started and then trip to the end how has everyone been everyone been good and well and managed to get a bit of scrapping done or a little bit of art journaling painting you know whatever it is that floats your boat um, I was hoping to get in and do a couple of layouts this weekend. Uh, this was the only layout that I've managed to do though. I was very excited down here in little old Hobart in Tasmania. We had a craft expo um, and so I went along even though it was a quilting and craft expo. I thought I'll go along and have a look and there was a few stores that were all scrapbooking, card making related. So I managed to pick up a couple of little things, but most of it was for quilters. And I still was super excited to, to actually have one down here in, in, in Tassie. So it's certainly nowhere as big as the ones I see you girls in America go to but it was big for my standards back to what I'm doing here I'm just going through the papers thinking I would like to mount the paper this black paper on something so I'm just going through and having a look to see what I would like and I really like that floral I think that looks really nice. It's got all the colours obviously to the heart. So <clears throat> I trimmed down with black paper. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I trimmed it a little bit too much off. Made the border a little bit bigger than I anticipated. And you can see once I put it back down on the floral paper, I go, what? What happened there? the branding strip see so it's a bit bigger but that's okay I'll, I'll work around that and you'll see how I overcome that um, a bit later so I know I wanted to when I as soon as I saw this paper I knew I want to fussy cut out all the flowers so I've gone ahead and cut out all the middle as much as I could cut out and then fussy cut around a few of the the actual clusters there and and um, to use here on this part so I pulled out my do uh, dolly dolly no doily collection get the words out pulled out my doily collection and go through and look for a couple of doilies here 
<clears throat> I fiddle fart around with these for a little while and well, I should say a long while actually. And I do end up using one, but I can't actually quite remember which one. Thought I'd use this gold one, but as soon as I put it down, I thought it looked horrible, so I took that off very quick smart. And I've settled in a minute, I'll settle on a couple of different ones that I think I might use, and I pack the rest away. So the photo here is just one of myself, my husband, and our son I was just in in town one day having a bit of lunch, having sushi, and I just thought I'd snap a, a, a selfie of us there. Obviously, so knowing that I would probably scrap it at some stage. So this blue flower was hidden behind the photo, so I decided I'll trim that out. So instead of using that blue doily, I'll put that blue flower there instead. After I try a few different other places, but just there, that brings that blue over to that part of the page. So I'm quite liking that cluster, grabbing out the stapler and just going to staple those together. And put them all up on pop tops. Oh, I'm still trying to use up the last of these little pop tops. Determine that I'm going to use them. They've been sitting in my stash because I've moved on to the fun foam. Uh, but I want to use them up just to get rid of them out of the way. Put down this XOXO. Uh, it doesn't end up staying. I just think the blue is just the wrong blue. So I got it off that um, sheet of uh, pink fresh. I think it is. Of I said rubber. Rubber words. There's lots of different um, sayings and quotes there. And I thought this one will go with this layout. But as I said, I end up taking it up and I, I choose a different one in the end to go down there. Going through the ephemera that come with the kit and just playing around. Put that circle up there and I realise I like the circle but I need to bring that red one up to be able to bring a, a bit of red up into that cluster up there. And I don't use that other circle down the bottom. I just have that one up the top. Trying to put a couple of these hearts into this cluster, but the cluster's getting a little bit bigger than I originally th was thinking that I'd have down there. So every time I put something in it, I think, oh, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I take most of it off. Going through the bits and pieces, I remember there was some um, thin, super skinny um, gold glitter washi in the little bag there. So I've pulled that out and put a couple of strips of that down. And then I'm, I like that cluster now, so I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it, I believe. And I'll do that in a minute. Uh, first off, I'll obviously decide that's coming off. Oh, there we go. Glue that down and then I go back to these sayings here and look to see whether any of them will work. And I pull this one off and it says focus on what matters. And I think, well, this is focusing on us as a family. So I make that work. And then up there on this, in this cluster where that white label is, um, coming up soon, I will put some small alphas up there that just says family. So it sort of indicates, you know, highlights more that that's what I'm focusing on. Pull off some of these little shapes. There's some lots of hearts and sh sh um, uh, what 
are they called? Chevron arrows, those things there. And put a couple of those around. And there's also some stars on there as well. But on this one, I just use the hearts and those arrows. Scatter those around for just once again, just some pops of colour here and there. Really liking the way it's coming together. So these are these black and gold. letter stickers that I spoke about I just had to write family down because I knew I was going to put the stickers on backwards and yeah I would get that wrong here's one of my purchases from the expo yesterday a pair of those little tweezers I've been thinking I would like a pair of these for a long time but nowhere here in, in Tassie ever seems to stock them so when I saw them at the expo, I was very happy to snap with those and also a couple of oh, what were those? Those, um, you most of the guys I see is have um, Winker Stella, so clear glittery. Well, these ones were close to my heart brand, and I got a clear and a gold. So just from the little bag of goodies there, I've pulled out some of these gold hearts, tiny little gold hearts, and I scattered them around the page. Just here, there and everywhere. Grab the glue out so I can start gluing them down. And now I have them down. Decided that I would like, it's very clean at the moment, and I would like a little bit more of a, a messy look to it. So I'll pull out some sprays and acrylic paints and then go through and try to find a bit of scrap paper to see how the colours would work. I didn't really think the sprays would stand out on black. So I test first and yes, I'm right, they just blend in far too much. So I'll grab the acrylic paints, just some cheap paints that we get from our local spotlight a little dob down, put a little bit of water in there to mix it up to get some splatters going and straight away is yes, the colour there is exactly what I was looking for. Get the pink out and do the same with the pink, add some water and that splatter is lovely. So I'll go ahead and splatter the pink and the blue in a couple of different around both of those clusters, the bottom and the top cluster. And then I will um, grab out the yellow and I will do the exactly same with the yellow. So just doing the blue. And I'm going to, I'm trying to go for that um, you see how the blue it didn't just drop, it sort of had, I don't know, long little lines. I don't know how you would describe that, but I'm pointing at it. If you could see me point at the bits that I mean, it would help. But you can see they're not all nice little droplets. They, they're making some nice, well, I think it's nice anyway, different, different sizes and length. So that's pretty much come to the end of the layout. I uh, don't think I really do much more after this. I did think about, oh yes, shake, 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 shake your hearty. Get the gold hearty shine out and sprinkle some of that around. I was initially going to do some journaling with a white pen on the black but decided that I really didn't want to do any journaling on this page I spoke about you know it's just a picture of us focus on the family I think that sort of explains clearly what it is that I've done as you can see I've mounted it on the pink and that's it thanks for watching hope you come back next time and watch again if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. 
leave a comment if you have any questions and if you haven't already please subscribe okay bye see you next time bye